This will just be a short video in which I'd like to ask Eric Hovind a question. Eric, in which direction does the Colorado River flow? First off, let's go look it up. The Colorado River begins at La Podre Pass Lake, and it ends in the Gulf of California. Looking at a map where north is up and south is down, and isolating the left and right component of motion of the river, the river flows from right to left, or east to west. Now let's take a look at a map of the Grand Canyon. North is still up, and the Colorado is still flowing from east to west. Overlaying Eric's map, we see that it also has north pointing up. But what of the river, you ask? I'll let Eric do the talking. That's impressive. In the bottom is the Colorado River. You know, some scientists suggest the Colorado River formed the Grand Canyon over millions of years. But take a look at these facts to see it from a different perspective. The Colorado River exits the canyon 1,800 feet above sea level. It enters the canyon 2,800 feet above sea level. And the top of Grand Canyon is 7,000 feet above sea level. So you tell me, did the river flow uphill for millions of years to carve out the Grand Canyon?